here we are again, playing some more Persona 3. Let's get right into it. Hey, Yukitani. You ever check out the student message boards and stuff? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well now, they're saying it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story that did it. Come on, nobody really believes that stuff, right? What's this ghost story about? What? It's probably made up. We don't need to go into details, do we? I'm interested. Go on, tell us. Yeah, let me hear about it. Let me let me hear about it. You got it. Here goes. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> And welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. Oh, there are many strange things in this world. <laughs> Legend has it, late at night, after everyone has gone home, a maniacal ghost roams the halls and devours anyone caught in its grasp. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Day, this friend of mine, let's call him Witness A. What happened? Anyway. He said to me, Hey, Iori, I saw something weird the other day. <gasps> he sounded so serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He told me he saw the girl from 2E and claims he watched her oh go into the school on the night before the incident. <laughs> I told him I didn't believe it, not even for a second. <laughs> that girl from 2E ain't the type to go wandering around at night. But Witness A was as white as a sheet. He swore to me it was true. Then it hit me. Did it now? If the girl was found <laughs> unconscious at school. No way. Then maybe the ghost really did make her its dinner. It all made sense. She went to the school at night and walked right into its deadly trap. <laughs> I felt a chill run down my spine. Oh my god. I broke into a cold sweat. Yes, there truly are some strange things in this world. Believe it. Or, or don't. don't. Oh my god. No way. No way. <laughs> Uh, so fire. What do you think, Akihiko? <laughs> so fire, dude. Seriously? Not one word about my amazing performance just now? I'm not so interested in the ghost part, but it does sound like it's worth investigating. That was so heat. So, you're afraid of ghosts, huh, Yukatan? Didn't know you were such a chicken. What? Who are you calling a chicken? Fine then, let's investigate it. Each of us will ask around for the rest of the week and gather information. This ghost story is just a bunch of nonsense. I'll show you. <laughs> Sounds good to me. The story is a bit unnerving, isn't it? Huh? I'll leave it to you guys then. It would have been too scary for me. <laughs> what? Dude, holy shit. <laughs> I read like all the different like clocks they have around. Good evening. This fucking guy. I'm back just as I promised. How have you been? Fuck you, man. Get out of here. It's not very nice. Come on, don't be so mean. I'm trying to sleep. In another week, the moon will be full again. The next door <laughs> will be upon you. Oh, Jesus. Be careful. Until next time. See you, kid. <laughs> I don't know. A tuxedo? What? What? Hold up. Oh. oh. For Chupay? <laughs> For fucking Chupay? Hey! Hey! Look at my nigga! <laughs> Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, 
Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. God bless. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? She brought up a good point. There were three victims. Correct. Boom! I did my fucking research. Yeah, I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. Next step, the next step. were all in different classes. And at first glance, they don't seem to be connected. But they are but connected. they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? They were bullying someone. What is this? A quiz show? Yes, Junpei. Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? He just said it like it was a quiz show. He just asked me that. They hung out together. They all hung out together. Yep, that's right. And they were all bullying the same Not girl, bro. Not just twice either. Uh -huh. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Always. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. Oh, good heavens. What? Field? Yep. There's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then That's all the more reason around. we should go together. You're coming with. Count me out. I love when they count me out. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, man. I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. We're children, Junpei. Really don't worry about it. There? Don't worry about it. Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Now, we make our own. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? Boom, bitch! I know what you mean, but... Man, if I could say it like that... I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Absolutely not, sir. Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly. Bro, what? You really got my hopes up making me think that you're gonna give me something valuable and you gave me a soda that you got upstairs in our fucking dorm. <laughs> you bitch. You fucking bitch, Yukari. Alright, it's time. Let's get going. <laughs> Shouldn't we talk about this some more? I still think this is a bad idea. How are you scared of ghosts but totally fine with this? Because stuff you can't see is way creepier. Actually, I'm more worried about the things I can't see. Like bats. And knives. <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. You're a little stupid. <laughs> Come on. Let's strike while the iron's hot. Strike? Yep. Strike hard. After you. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Oh, now I'm the leader? Yes, you are. You won this position so bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are they following me? Wait, seriously? <laughs> Small details, bro. It's all about the little things. The hell are these guys? Bruh, come on. Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. These rags look pretty nice on me. Oh, man. Just this is even worse than I thought. Come on, you bang. You must have taken a wrong turn. This place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well. Bye. What I'm saying is, being here is ruining our vibe. Beat it, goatee. <laughs> goatee? <laughs> goatee? <laughs> oh, you mean me? 
Come on, Junkei. Don't be such a fucking punk, bro. Hey, are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. Come on. Don't be intimidated by these punks. What did you just say? She just called us punks. Come on. Let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Yikes. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. These guys are scum. Oh, so now we're scum, huh? It'll be fine. Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? Why do you punch Junpei? Why'd you pick it, Sock? Are you doing anything? That's enough. Oh. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. Wow, bro. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? Uh, I don't think this guy's voice actor has too many roles. I'm not too sure. I remember seeing he's only played, like, in a couple of roles before this one. This dude is smooth, bro. They're not walking out of this. You want some too? Oh! <laughs> Shit! Son of a bitch! She's crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Should we find out? Uh. It'll be fine. No. Well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. What a loser. Made him bitch out, bro. <laughs> nice, best. Nice going. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah. Now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High, too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. <laughs> Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Oh my god. Did Aki tell you to come here? No, he did not. <laughs> well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? Yes, that's right! <laughs> How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. So, you mean she's still missing? You see, I thought there was some inconsistencies. I didn't know so she was much missing. For that ghost story. Mr. Ekoda is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can't let go. Ugh. Huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. Come on. Show some appreciation. I didn't do nothing. You for helping us and for sharing what you know that was really nice of you huh? oh uh sorry just don't come here again your shoes are stupid <laughs> he has dumbass shoes
fine, Junpei. We'll be fine. I feel like, low-key, the animations have gotten more, like, or the scenes have become more alive as the game goes on. Give me a break. Oh, Hirijo-senpai. Why are you here? Same reason you are. Mr. Ikoda. I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I... I never thought it'd turn out this way, Fuka. Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kiri Jokun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Ryama? Don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. You were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so she went back to the school by herself, but she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda. All this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. My fucking microphone came unplugged. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. She was bullying a girl, pushed her into school after hours, locked her in a closet, and the girl went missing. And they decided, hey, let's not tell anyone because it would look bad for this girl. Rather than, repis re rather than reporting the missing student. What the fuck is that about, guys? <laughs> what so the fuck is that about? So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Mm-hmm. Despicable. Despicable. Uh. Despi uh no, I, I... Despicable me. <laughs> I didn't mean, uh, uh, I was just... That's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. W wait, but... Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. Let her know! Let him know, bro! Let him know, Mitsuru! <laughs> oh my god. About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? A voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh, man. Senpai, could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. 
they actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Yes, they are. are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room, no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be alright as well. Luca... Graham. Yori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Yeah, we're gonna save her. We got this. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? Come on, Junpei. And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... And just like that, the dots connect. Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Boom. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's right. That's right. But that was ten days ago! You know what that means. And no matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Uh-uh-uh! Chill out, Junpei. Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? Gone! It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. That's a good point. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. There's a chance she's still alive. Now, we go into Tartarus for like an hour every night, which means that she has been inside of there 10 times the amount of time that we typically spend inside of Tartarus. That's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Wow, you think so? But I know so. Wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us. Precisely. How could she last 10 days worth in there? Not easily. That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? The most efficient way. Oh, actually, I wouldn't even say the most efficient way. Let me reword that. It's the most probable way. We have no other leads, and if we just keep blindly sprinting up Tartarus, who knows how long it's really gonna take. So yeah, we gotta go into the gym, close that door behind us, and wait. In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. Could. But... It's the only chance we got. I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her, I never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Uh, senpai? All right. We know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right. And we won't know until we try. That's a fact. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> In that case, I've got just the thing. Who the man? You do? Who the motherfucking man? No answer. No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. That's fine. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. <laughs> no need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? An explosive? Ha! <laughs> Imagine. All right. I'll let you handle this. Oh. There's no time to waste. Let's go. She was surprisingly content with the idea of him just blowing open the school. Surprisingly content. Uh, I guess she has connections. She can really cover it up in the worst case scenario. An actual explosive? Uh... No. Uh, all I did was 
Unlock a door. <laughs> Who the man? Who the man? See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Oui, good job. Hey, okay, Akihiko. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? <laughs> Trey Ben? Why are they talking in different languages what? anyway? Because it's cool, Junpei. Come on, man. Be for real. Can we turn we'll on the lights? Aw, you scared? No, I'm not. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, my God. Hey, that's uncalled for. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? Fine by me. So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office, too. It sounds interesting. <laughs> no way! You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision. Are you? Never, no. I suppose you'll need to be executed. Chill! Chill, hey, come on. Obviously, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. <laughs> Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Uh, Akihiko's Yuri, one of the bros. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get this over with. All right, let's get going. Do you hear something? Not really. Oh. What? There's someone else here? We gotta hide. Oh, they have security. Really? They have night security? It was just a security guard. Think it's a ghost? Hey, welcome back. Uh, of course I don't. You got here doing one of the most uh one of the most important we moments. I already know it's not a ghost. And besides, I'm not that afraid of <laughs> my, my phone. Why now? <laughs> oh shit. And of course it's just spam. Hey, can you imagine being that security guard walking away from the hallway and hearing a scream? people out right Definitely. come on the thing just rang out of nowhere that was so cute give me courage what that's not funny you know Gosh, dang give me courage going down here I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? Morg is Morg is insane. <laughs> Says Jim. Really? Let me see. Yeah, this is it. I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow this. <laughs> Morg is insane, bro. Okay, let's go. Fuck. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Hello, gang. Did you find the key? Sure did. This recreation is perfect because not only did they, you know, remake all my favorite scenes and everything from the game, but they added on to them. You know, like the, the, the recreation of every scene is so true to what the original was. But then they went and they added in some little spices and dices here and there to make them even better. Like, bro. You know, I heard. 
heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. And the voice actors kill it! The voice <laughs> actors kill it! Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. <laughs> you want to take this outside? Guys, come on. All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You All right, here you go. You can take the lead as usual. Gotcha. I'd be glad to help. Oh, not auto. Uh, then I'll be the third. Nope. Wait a second, Yukatan. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, it's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. Let's get it. Dude, Junpei's voice actor is fucking... You said especially later on. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's right. I, I bet you that nigga kills it later on. <laughs> I know exactly what you're fucking talking about. <laughs> oh shit. No. No, I don't want to hear this. Calling me. I. I have to go to school. Tell her I'm sorry. Uka. Oh, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is the fact that he's so fire. We still haven't heard back from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. And, and scenes like this, bro, like, you don't get this from new Persona games. You don't get this from Persona 4 and 5. Like... There is tension between these two, and there has been tension between these two since the very beginning of the game. It's not that they don't like each other, they're just uncomfortable around each other. There is a clear, like, sense of a gap between worlds inside of these two, and it's genuine, it's real, and over the course of the game they warm up to each other. Like, I fucking love this shit! Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. I love this shit! I just got a message from Reddit! And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Well, we are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. Mitsuru, can you hit me? I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Got separated. Akihiko, come in, Akihiko. Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. Uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. Question mark? I must have lost consciousness. see Sonata or Junpei. Are you awake? Good morning. This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Actually, it's the second time. Don't worry. You'll see them soon. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again. Are you alright? It's too hot. I'm sorry. Sorry. Alright, just me. 
Let's get it. Oh, I kind of don't want to get into a fight when it's just me. Ah. Hey. Are you human? Yes, I am. I promise you. I promise you, I'm human. It's you, pay. <laughs> hey, here he is. Man, we were worried about you. We're good. I'm glad you two are safe. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah. Kind of like... Kind of like Fuka. Kind of like... Who's there? Are you... Human? That's it? That's the voice? Wait. Didn't that come from behind us? Huh, there she is! Oh hell, Fuka! Oh hell, Fuka! Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. There she is. Wow, you're alive! Let's never fear. The heroes are here. Show some respect, Junpei. Damn. Good to see you're okay. Yo, I just realized their portraits are lit up by purple hues. There's purple lighting on their portraits because we're inside of a purple area. I just noticed Come that. Us. That's crazy. Small details, just little things. Thank you so much. I... Yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Look at Mr. her, bro. Look at my queen. Look at her. Look at her. Is this place? The velvet room portraits are the most the noticeable. I, I, I never paid attention. I, I have to look next time. Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? No good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, they're... Is something dangerous in here then? I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait, you've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Because she is the fucking goat. She's the goat, Aki. Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Huh? Wait, is this... is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have literally like always thought about that zero explanation he literally just pulls a gun out of his pocket and says hold on to this like i have i have always thought about that shit bro whoa check out the moon it's huge i don't think i've ever seen it so bright there's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the faces of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. <laughs> hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. 
and the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Yes, they were. Mitsuru, are you there? I'm getting excited, bro. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, I'm, I'm, come I'm, in. I'm feeling that the tingles all in my heart, all in my, all my, my face, all my. There's bugs in my skin. There's bugs in my skin. I, I'm, bro. I'm getting hyped right now. Mitsuru, Mitsuru. What is that? It's much bigger than the others, and it's attacking someone. Damn it! What the hell's going on? One of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. I feel tingles in my lower extremities, nigga. We gotta hurry. Like your pee pee? <laughs> hey, is that what hey you're talking me. about? Welcome to the stream, Dalton. Uh, glad you could join us during um, a peak moment, actually. What? There's two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! <laughs> they got jumped. What's going on? Nothing's working! Tanada-san, gotta draw the shadows away. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it! I'm hyped, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been waiting for this. Normal attacks don't work on them. No surprise the woman crashed the motor vehicle! That's crazy. Hey, what the? Oh, she's here. Uh, Uka. Hatsuki, you can't be no. here. What are you doing here? Moriyama son? Hey, come back! Please get out of here! It's not safe! I. I had to tell you. I'm sorry. Hey! Look out! I have to protect her. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yo! 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 Yeah, duh, Junpei. Duh, it's a fucking persona. Come on, man. I can see. I... I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take her place. We'll handle these guys. Let's get this shit. Ah, oh, you hear that song? Yeah! For the monster's weaknesses. Please give me some time. Okay. First things first. Um, where is it? Um, hmm. I don't know what the hell these guys are gonna be using off rip. We're gonna cast rebellion on. On me. So we're gonna cast rebellion on me. Can't stop me now. Um. Fuck, bro. This is gonna do slash damage to everyone. They said physical attacks weren't gonna work, so I probably shouldn't even try that. But it is what it is. Time to see you. Well, we found one weakness. Let's pass it over to Junpei. Ah. Cut their outfit. Let's try fire. Fire didn't work. He blocked fire. 
That was very powerful. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. It's done. I can start the analysis at any time. Okay. Please tell me when to activate it. Let's do it now. Doing so will deplete her SP. Carrying out a full analysis will reveal the enemy's weakness. Use it to battle more effectively. Note that a full analysis can only be done after everyone, both allies and enemies, have ended their turn in the first round. Well. See it. 35 SP. I didn't know I had this kind of power. Your okay. It's just what we hope for. It's even more. I can it has. Can't wait to get a firearm from it so I can get my own persona. What to do? Hey man, persona summoning in real life is not condoned by Atlas. Personally, I wouldn't re recommend it. But if you want to, I'm not stopping you. Give me a crate. No crate. Next up, that shit cost a lot of SP, but this dude's weak to see us. Let's go ahead and pass it on over. Let's get in there. Alright, Junpei, you can't really do too much. Oh. Actually, go ahead. Go nuts. Excellent work. Um, who's next? Who's going next? Akiko's going next. Let's get an all-out attack, though. Let's do an all-out attack. This might be the easiest boss fight known to man. Let's go in. Let's get this shit. He's gonna paradigm shift. Okay. The enemy's aura has shifted. So they were changing their affinity. The one. Okay. Well, we're gonna run low on SP here, but I should be able to end the fight. Pretty easy. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty easy fight. Way easier than the uh, the first boss fight, but I'm okay with that. What to do? I am perfectly fine with that. Um, who has a high magic stat? But I know he doesn't. Uh, you do, but I don't have Bufu on you. You have a really shitty magic stat. Alright, fuck it. We'll stick with who we got for the moment. This fight in the original, this fight beat my ass. Um, I remember this fight being very difficult. Uh, but Fuku didn't use to work like this, you know? So. Gem. God bless the fact that I got these items earlier. Junpei's actually being a huge help inside a combat because of this shit. Um, what are you weak to again? Sonic Punch. Don't come up. Easy fucking fight, bro. Easy boss fight. Easy boss fight. For babies. This game was made for babies. Uh, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and Sonic Punch her. And this should be enough to end the fight right here. Yep, this will end the fight. Check it. Yeah, for real, for real. I really appreciate the fact that it gets bumped to the top of the list now. Um, I, don't get me wrong, I definitely did use them in the old games. But it would be like, oh, I got this gem fucking 40 hours ago and I'm just now using it. Like, it would take me so long to even remember. 
Anyway, let's go change over to Orpheus. And, uh, what are you, what are you weak to right now, buddy? Ice? I got no Buku or anything. Uh, you resist Slash. So at the very least, I can Slash you. Who's next? Who's next? He's next. I'll go with. Never mind. He's just right. <laughs> I did four damage to kill him. <laughs> I did not think he had that little health left. Oh shit. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it. Easy fucking boss fight. Are there more of them? Don't worry. It's over. Hoka, you... Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Hoka! It's all right. She's just exhausted. Hoka... Hoka, I... Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is she didn't fall victim to the shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get no more Fuka Friday. She's, <laughs> She's not dead, bro. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm uh, sorry, shit. Fuka. I'm so sorry. It looks like she's learned her lesson. Endless tower climbing, I've been working on a better me Burning up to dread that weighs me down with bursts of apathy Determination changes in an alleyway, an enemy Switching to another mask and I select Persona 3 Gun against my head, I pull the trigger, now they're dropping dead Paths have turned to Igus, now my shorty filled them up with lead One more deadly chance, the Emperor has waited long for this Gang up on a nigga, slice him up and don't you dare relax